Lesson 119 starts on page 613 and it's about dividing by a decimal number. Let's just look at some examples first and something very simple to think about. Let's do 10 divided by 1.0. Now that's the same thing as saying 10 divided by 1, right? And we know that 10 divided by 1 would just equal 10. Well, now let's put a decimal point after the 10 and let's move both of those decimal places to the right one. Okay, so now we have 100 divided by 10. The answer is still 10 though, right? That's why I put the equal sign there. 100 divided by 10 is the same thing as 10 divided by 1. Now let's take 10 divided by 1 and move the decimal place to the left one and we'd have 1 divided by 0 0.1. If we move the decimal place to the left one, we'd end up with 1 divided by 0 0.1. That also equals 10. So writing each of these in long division format, we'd have 0 0.1 and 1 there. We'd have 1 out here and 10 here. And then 10 and 100. All of those will give you 10 for an answer. Now these bottom two, those are easier to work with because the divisor is a whole number and that just, we're used to working with whole numbers. But that top one there, 0.1 as a divisor, that seems kind of confusing. And so just like we did in our example with the fractions, writing those division problems as fractions, we move the decimal place to the right and to the left we can do the same thing in a division problem. Just move it over one and move this one over one and so it's gonna make that a 10, right? 10.0. And then you can see a whole lot easier, oh, well one goes into 10 exactly 10 times and so that would be my answer there. And so that's what you're going to be learning in this lesson. You'll be dividing by decimal numbers and what you do is you move the decimal place over until you get a whole number as a divisor. But you have to remember inside the dividend you also have to move the decimal place over as well. And you can see here that that does not change your answer. You're just moving, if you move the decimal place over in both the numerator and the denominator, it won't change the result of that division problem. 1 over 0.1 is the same thing as 10 over 1.0 is the same thing as 100 over 10. They all equal 10. It's just that the decimal place has been shifted the same amount in the numerator and the denominator. And so you could think of those all as equivalent fractions, right? Well, let's go ahead and do some practice problems. Look at practice problem A. 3.6 divided by 1.8. Now, what we want to do there is we have that 1.8. It's a whole lot easier to do a division problem when you have a whole number for a divisor. And so we need to move the decimal over to the right one in the divisor and in the dividend. And so that means we need to put it in the quotient. We need to put it in that new spot. We don't leave it in the old spot. We put it right there. Okay. And so let's just go ahead and put one right there and put a zero after it. And so now we can see that 18 would go into 36 exactly two times, right? Because 18 times 2 is 36. And we'd have a remainder of 0 there. And so we can just say 2.0 for the answer. And of course, when it's 2.0 like that, we can just write the answer as a whole number, 2. Don't forget, when you have a divisor that's a decimal number, move the decimal over until you make it a whole number. Move it over the same amount in the dividend as well. Okay, let's do another one. 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.2. Okay, we have a decimal number as a divisor. Move the decimal over 1 to make it a whole number. Move it over 1 in the dividend as well. And put a point there and then let's add a 0 on the end. And then don't forget, in your quotient, you put the new decimal point, you put it in that spot where the new decimal point is. Okay, so now we're doing 2 into 7. 2 goes into 7 three times. So 
So we have 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down that 0. 2 goes into 10 exactly 5 times. And so that would give us a remainder of 0. And so our answer is 3.5. Okay, let's do one more. 6 divided by 0.12. Okay, so now we need to move the decimal place to the right. 2, 1, 2. And we need to do the same thing in the dividend. But we don't have a decimal point after the 6, so we just put one on there, right? And we just think of moving that 1, 2. And so here it is. Let's put it right in the same spot in the quotient and fill in our empty spaces with zeros. And so now we have basically 600 divided by 12. That's the same thing as 6 divided by 0.12. And so we can think, well, 12, that goes into 6 zero times. It goes into 60 exactly five times. And so we'd say 60, bring down a zero. 12 goes into zero zero times. And so that's our answer would be 50. And we can say 50.0 or just rewrite that as a whole number, 50. So that time we had to move the decimal place to the right too and we fill those empty spaces with zeros when we do that if we need to. Okay, well that's all for lesson 119.